<laughs> We're here at Objects in Pensacola, Florida, launching UC Tomato. 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 Still miss you, Dave. We miss you, Dave. I'm gonna have a slice of pie. You guys enjoy the show. You say potato, we say potato. You say tomato, we say tomato. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. But oh, if we call the whole thing off, then we must part. So if I wear pajamas, we wear pajamas, I'll wear pajamas, and give up pajamas, for we, no we, need each other, so we better call the calling off, off, let's call the whole thing off. Hi, I'm Keith Hofert, and I'm Dave Gillespie, and welcome to You Say Tomato. tomato. It's Tomato Day. Tomato, Keith. Tomato. 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 Oh. It's the show that lifts the lid on the very best of U.S. and U.K. cuisine. It's the food we love to eat on both sides of the Atlantic. And you say tomato, we'll be exploring what separates our two countries when ah. it comes to the kitchen. And what brings us together, what we've got in common. Today, we're going to be cooking here at Hop Jacks, but we need to go get some ingredients first. What do you say? Let's cook the whole thing off. Jack's Pizza Kitchen and Tap Room. Hey Joe, I'm fascinated by all these taps you've got here. How many how many beers have you got? So we've got 112 on draft right now. So wow. It's, uh, we have what we call beer ADD. We don't like to drink a lot of the same things, so we can <laughs> change it up a little bit. Beer ADD, I love that. Exactly. So most of them are actually within three hours drive up here, which I know is a long way for you. That's the other side of the country for Britain. Oh yeah, but for you, that's local boys. That's local, you, yeah. It? Yeah. Okay. We're still in the south. Alright. We've got two in my club, the Rising Sun. Okay. Yep. Bitter. A twisted. That suits but we're you happy. Fine, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little Absolutely. boring. Mm. What, what are we going to cook today? Well, I'm going to cook a shepherd's pie. Traditional, classic British fare. What about you? I don't know. I think I'm going to have to have a chat with Joe. Figure something out. I've got a bad feeling about this. Zucchini. Courgette. Zucchini. Courgette. Zucchini. Courgette. Zucchini. Courgette. Squash. All right, guys, today we came down to the butcher shop. We're going to join Kevin Green. Thanks for having us today. Good to see you. Hi, Kevin. Good so to listen, see you. Dave and I are on a shepherd's pie sort of battle here, and we're going to make some twists, a little American shepherd's pie, a little British shepherd's pie, but we needed lamb. There's only one place to really go here in town, and that's the butcher shop. All right, so what do we got here, Kevin? Uh, we have a wide assortment of both domestic and imported lamb, um, domestic rack of lamb, uh, domestic bone-in and boneless leg of lamb. And then on the imported side, um, both Australian and New Zealand, bone-in leg of lamb, boneless leg of lamb. So we do, we're doing the shepherd's pie, so it's got okay. to be minced lamb, really. Sure. You've probably got ground lamb, do you? It's same same sort of concept. Really, yeah. really, really fine, tiny so we don't want it high in fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah you that's want right, it real fat. lean. Are you going to be able to mince that for us? Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. That's the well, stuff. that's just lazy. <laughs> you think I'm going to mince my I, own I, lamb? I think we should mince our own lamb. I'll teach yep. you how to mince lamb. You teach me how to mince All right, okay. fair enough. <laughs> yep, done. All right, deal. Cool, deal. All right, Kevin, thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Thanks very much. Appreciate All you right. coming down. Appreciate the business. They served with honor. Now it's our turn to serve them. Your gift today will help Panhandle Warrior Partnership provide critical services and programs that empower local veterans. Make a difference for your local military veterans and their families. Hey guys, welcome to You Say Tomato. We're here at Jeff's Corner Garden with owner John Shell. We're gonna rummage through here and see if we can't find some fun ingredients to cook with today. Hi, 
Adidas. 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 Adios. All right, Dave, tell us about Shepherd's Pie. This is the ultimate in comfort food. Yeah, if you're feeling a bit under the weather, maybe a bit of a hangover, get a shepherd's pie down here. There's not a lot of history to this. Okay. It's from Scotland, that's about as, as much as I know. But okay. if we ask Bernard and the uh, research pixies, I'm sure they'll tell us something different. And very interesting about the shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie probably originated in Scotland and the north of England. It was made from chunks of lamb left over from a roast. The name shepherd's pie appeared in the 1870s, around the same time as mincing machines were invented. If you use beef, it's a cottage pie. Alrighty then. Alright Dave, tell me what's in shepherd's pie. Okay, let's have a little whiz round of the ingredients here. We've got the, we've got the shepherd, the lamb, here, right here. No Three. shepherds, no shepherds were injured during the making you of this pie. I was going to ask that, I know you were, I thought I'd get it before you. Well, you know, we're and very we conscious of this stuff. There we've got this lovely mint sauce, which we'll come to a little bit later on. We've got the cheese that's going to go right on the top there. We've got the carrots, we've got the onions, we've got the flour for thickening the stock, which we've already made yeah. here. Now, this is lamb stock, right? Lamb stock, that's okay. right. And we've got celery salt, which I put in most things as well, as you know, with the Bloody Marys, you know how I like sure. those. Yeah. yeah. And we've got the tomato ketchup, just a squirt of that, lovely. The most important ingredient today. Well, you know kitchen is complete without it. I, in, I in its full-on red tube square bottle. It is, absolutely that. And that tomato. And uh, we've got here, of course, the secret ingredient, Leah Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Okay, do you know the story behind this? Nope. I know the story, but Bernard tells it so well. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. All right, Bernard. So interesting. Lay it on him. Worcester sauce was created in Worcester, England in the 1800s. It is said that the recipe was brought back from India. When the recipe was first mixed at the pharmacy of John Lee and William Perrins, it was so revolting the barrel was abandoned in the basement. A few years later, looking to make space in the basement, the two chemists tasted it again and discovered that the sauce had fermented and mellowed. The first bottles of Lee and Perrins Worcestershire sauce went on sale in 1838. Okay, you see now we've got Keith out of the way and we've got a proper chef in now. Joe, who's going to do something pizza-ified. Not quite sure what yet. But maybe, guys, this is a good time to consult Bernard again and the Pixies about the origin of the pizza. The word pizza was first documented in 997 AD in Latina, a province of Italy. The precursor of pizza was probably the focaccia, a flatbread known to the Romans as panis focaccius, to which toppings were then added. Pizza first appeared in the US with the arrival of the Italian immigrants in the late 19th century. Where's the pizza? Okay, Joe, I know you're going to do something utterly bonkers now with this pizza. I can't wait to see what it's going to be, so I'll leave it up to you. So we took what you kind of trained us in earlier with your shepherd's pie, and I love all the ingredients, and I, but I'm, I'm a mutt. I'm, I'm an American. <laughs> we're a rogue as from the beginning to the end. So we're going to take those items that you kind of played around with and then we're going to incorporate our own and see what comes out. Okay. So your tomato ketchup. Yeah, it's small ketchup. Correct. Yeah. Is our red sauce. Uh, okay. Then you've got your flour base with a little bit of, a little bit there. So, oh, so it's like a bechamel. It's a bechamel. Correct. All right. All right so we're going to give this a little, a little whirl. We do Belgian fries. Fresh cut potatoes right. fried in duck fat. Ooh. We're actually making this reverse. You put those on top. Yeah. I'm putting them on the bottom. Okay. Our uh, Belgian fries are awesome. All right. I'm liking it All already. Right, so what else? What else goes in your shepherd's pie? Well, meat. Meat. R absolutely. Yeah, bit of shepherd. So uh, no shepherds involved. So this is the the lamb that we browned off earlier. 
great stuff. Okay. And then we had carrots I as had well, carrots. didn't we? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I well think we got some onions. We'll do a little bit of onions. If that's okay with you? Yeah. I'm loving the way it's looking at the moment. It's I like good. the way it's building, Joe. I'm just, I'm just faking it off of what you came up with. Okay. I'm following your directions. Yeah, well, we had onions. That's right. There was onions in there. A little celery salt. Got to do it. Can't go wrong. Yeah. And the, the, the magic. The magic. So the we, magic of Leah Perrins. We call because no one can actually spell this or say this in the restaurants. We call this LLP. When you see it on a recipe. It's LLP. L LLP. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Worcestershire shire. Worcestershire shire. Exactly. Okay. We're gonna pull a little secret weapon here. Those Yukon gold potatoes. Oh. We're gonna double down. So we're gonna get. Look at that. Just dotted around. Just dotted. Because this has a little cream, a little butter in it. Mm. It should cook down a little bit, spread out, and Beautiful. Uh, make it nice and tasty. Yeah. And so you're then, obviously, you're going to put the cheese on the top. I think of cheese as glue. It sticks everything together, make yeah. sure that when you pick that pizza up, it doesn't all come sliding off and drooping off. This could be a winner. We're not quite done. We're going to go back to your veal stock and give it a little bit of moisture. Oh not, man, look not, at that. Not nothing terrible because you don't want to over moisten the, the pizza. Oh, I think this is inspired. Oh, I'd it's say a, it's definitely it's a, it's a touch of Joe genius going on here. So we're going to... I don't gonna, think it has enough cheese, Joe. I like this, the way this oh, guy takes. Here we go. Look at that. Yeah. So we'll do it. Oh little. man. It's getting quite high now. Oh yeah. Like I said, this is this this bread is just to keep all the goodness in together so that mm. we can... We can taste this and get it, you know, get all the flavors to our mouth. So uh, I Can't think wait. this is our shepherd's pie esque. Shepherd's pizza pie. Shepherd's pizza pie. Brilliant. So it's beautiful. We're gonna go into a hot oven, 550 yeah. degrees. Very good. They served with honor. Now it's our turn to serve them. Your gift today will help Panhandle Warrior Partnership provide critical services and programs that empower local veterans. Make a difference for your local military veterans and their families. Here we are. It's all done. It's all prepared. We've got the traditional shepherd's pie with the lovely mint sauce to go with it that I cook. And we've got this creation, which is the shepherd's pizza pie that Joe did. And, um, and he picked out some lovely beers to go with it. Joe, do you want to talk us through the beer? We're all about the local beers. We are about three quarters of a mile, a nice little hike from uh, Gulf Coast Brewery that uh, has this wonderful Changing Tides cream ale. So it's a, a great light body session beer. The other one is a uh, Pensacola Bay Lighthouse Porter. So British style, uh, porter style, done about five blocks from there. So a nice roasty, caramely bit to it. Cheers. Chin chin. Oh, you see, that's that's yeah, lovely. Yeah. yeah, but that's a pizza beer for me. Yeah. I think, definitely. How we go the other? Well, that's dinner. Is it dinner? Dinner in a glass. Totally in the glass. All right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I that works with anymore. that. Let's go for it. Your weapons, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. You want mint on? Okay, you, you went all day I, making I've this. I've got to have the mint. There we go. You recommend a little. Added, we we have, have to add the mint too. A little yeah. sprinkle of that, you know. All right, go for it. Going. <laughs> that is good. That is very good. As mm. much as I did not want to like the mint. It works. It works. It does it's something, doesn't it? Sour, and All right, a little tartness. Yeah. Mm. Great. So, all right. Onto the pizza. Bring it. Okay. By the way, before we go to the pizza, I've got some bad news. I bumped into Bernard in the green room, and he's a bit upset. He said, "What you've done to this pizza, or what you've done from traditional shepherd's pie here, you should be shot for that." He said, "It's the work of a lunatic." I'll, I'll fire him. Don't worry about it. Actually, so it's probably a compliment for you, isn't it? I'm okay with that. that yeah. That's, that's, that's yeah. actually pretty good. Yeah. Okay. We're, you're going to be able to sneak some of this back to Bernard in the, in the, uh, in the green room. Change his mind. Yeah, change his mind. Yeah, we'll do that. But first of all, shall we, shall we have a little Let's go. Dipping? I'm, I'm going for a whole spot here. Mm. No, no, no. Oh. He's the mint. He's missing the mint sauce. I think I'll go with you. I can't believe I'm putting mint sauce on pizza. 
work. You gotta love that. All right. The meat sauce me? It does. I'm in favor of the pizza. That gets my vote. I like the beer. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> he always likes the beer. Yeah. But I like that as well. Yeah. Tricky, isn't it? Should we bring in um, an outsider? Rene. Tim. That's totally different and unexpected. I've never had potatoes on pizza before. This is amazing. I'm going to have to lean towards the pizza. Well, I'm a cheese freak and I love potatoes. And so this, at first, I mean, the cheese is amazing. And it's so melty and everything. I needed a little bit more of that crunch. And I think that the, the pizza bone is doing that for me, giving me that crunch. That's it, man. So it's pizza That's with it. mint sauce that wins. So we're one in one. I owe you lunch, you owe me lunch. That's OK. I'll buy you a drink of lunch later. Fair enough. Okay.